Hi guys, it's Granny Tana speaking. Welcome to my relaxed gameplay on Calmland. This is part 5. And here we are, standing on the porch of our new farmhouse and watching the sun that will go down rather soon. So we have a perfect view for the sun in the evening. And when we go like so, we see our lake. Uh, or not our, but the lake that is close to our, um, our lot. Yeah, that's wonderful. Ah, having a nice bath in the hot August evening. Okay, so first let's do some work and then maybe we can make ourselves a nice garden. A little garden. Only a little bit for sitting there and enjoying the lake and the nature. Oh, with this huge loading wagon it is just enough place to turn around beside the house. So I was thinking on placing a shed there beside the fermenting silo. I think a small shed would be okay, but only a small shed. So then let's go on mowing. So...
Oh, this is a really nice, relaxed evening. Yeah. I think you can call it already evening, but it's early evening. And so peaceful. Mowing and mowing on our own land. If you like, you can ask me questions um, and then I can talk about the questions or the answers when I'm doing such things that take a lot of time. I think I will have to mow a lot and then I have to to cultivate, to create fields. This will take a lot of time and I have a lot of time to talk and answer your questions. So feel, feel free to ask. Feels like it's getting going slower now. This time with the loading wagon to become full. Maybe because the circles are smaller. Yeah, and I'm thinking on putting something like a um, selling barn close to the road. So then I can sell to this barn and the idea is that customers can come and buy fresh grass or silage or other grass products uh, from this this barn selling station and then for our um, other products I want to build a little market store
so. No, it's only sixty percent full now. And I'm quite happy to have the beginning of the farm now. It's so nice to see the nature. In this summer evening light. Oh, no, it's not yet really evening. It's more like late afternoon light. And this lazy sun summer afternoon. Yeah, and so I get really uh, relaxed <laughs> sometimes. I don't even know what to say here while driving with my tractor and my loading wagon and the circle and circle and circle somehow like hypnotizing Peaceful work. When I see the real farmers on their fields, so for example in winter they have to plow their cornfields here and this always takes a long time because plowing is very slowly and they don't have much width and so they have yeah, maybe only two meters or so and so they sit in their tractor for the whole day and only go up and down and up and down and I wonder what they are doing in this time okay they are driving their tractors and they have to take care that they do this as good as possible so precise and Yeah, and they have to turn the plow in every row. But for me, I... Yeah, I would ask myself what to do with my head. So even listening to the radio would be um, too monotone after a while. When driving the car, listening to the radio is enough for me because I usually don't drive very long. 
usually I only drive very short, <laughs> to be honest. But when I drive uh, a longer time, so to go to the grandkids, uh, for example, then I have to drive for several hours, then it's just okay to listen to the radio. But I wouldn't like it to do it every day. Yeah, maybe they listen to audiobooks. Maybe that is what I would do if I had to to drive a plow, uh, a tractor with a plow, and for hours and hours. And yeah, maybe weeks and weeks until all the fields are ploughed. Yeah, I could imagine to listen to audiobooks or maybe to podcasts. Okay. Maybe one or two sheds and then a little bit work in the garden. Yeah. So first I want to see whether I can put a small shed over here. I have those drive-through sheds. This is, is this, this is a large one. And this is the small one. And I th Oh, it's not really too big. It's just the right size for this place, I'd say. But I have to flatten a lot. Yeah, and I think it would be rather nice here. And wouldn't disturb. So, first flatten. Okay. Maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah, and then later I have to Soften. Okay. This is okay. So, and this is from my Herman Herman fan pack, <laughs> and this is not yet finished. It's available as a beta version on my homepage. 
Is this okay? I have to pay 90 bucks for landscaping, so maybe I put a little bit more effort in the landscaping. Yeah, and this... I don't call it officially Herman Fan Pack, because I don't know whether the Motab would like it to be called like that. So the official name is a modern farm buildings pack and but the I inofficial name is Herman fan pack uh, the Herman buildings are those and I really like them and I especially like this one this is even smaller and it has um, a side at the back and yeah, but this is my favorite one. But I prefer drive-through sheds. I know not every every one of you does, but me, I like them to be drive-through. And but this Herman Fan Pack has cheaper sheds. So we have one of this and larger one and with metal sides into colors like so no the, the red one and the wooden one and three diff different shapes and the one with the wooden posts without walls and i will make versions with a back side, back wall and I will make some of them with um, solar panels because some of you wanted to have solar panels and I think it's a wonderful idea and it's really good for this modern but country-like building style. So it is not modern like cold and metal and all shiny and so, but more like modern and, and bucolic. Um, and that I really like of this Herman building style. And therefore I'm really a fan of it but those buildings are so expensive and in my Herman fan pack they have less quality so it's like uh, when the Chinese people they copy things and make it cheaper and so this has only normal planks and this here is very sophisticated with yeah with very nice and elaborate shapes of the of the posts and so and therefore it's more expensive and mine have the advantage of being cheap or at least rather cheap so they are from 3000 bucks to 8,000 bucks in different sizes. Yeah, and the one with the solar panels we will be more expensive for sure, but uh, they will give you passive income. So the wooden colors don't match very good, but I think it's okay. So, now I have one here. Do I want to have another one, like here? Yes, I think so. And then... It should be enough for the first beginning. Of the farm building process. So it will take me uh, weeks 
until the farm is finished. I don't hurry with this. And I think I'll use just the same style, but the bigger one. Overlaps with another object. Oh, they don't like the grass on the ground. So then I just paint a little bit more. Like so. Okay. And then... And I used the original textures of the Herman buildings. So they are exactly the same colors, but not as as perfect. Oh, and this will need a lot of groundwork. Okay. So, let's level a lot. Maybe we start here. Oi, 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 oi. Ooh. Do you see it there at the... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is not, not good. Oh, I thought this area was flat. <laughs> oh. That happens to me all the time that I, I watch an area and think, Oh, this is kind of flat and this is easy and cheap to build there. And then, when I try to build there, I realize it is not flat at all. And it needs very expensive <laughs> modifications to the ground. And to have this softening around, that it's not such a steep step in, in the landscape, you have to flatten a, a huge area somehow, and then you have to go and, f and soften, and so it costs a lot of money. So I hope maybe this works. Yeah, this is much cheaper now, but still... Here it was only 50 bucks. So it's not that I don't want to pay this 70 bucks, but on the amount I would have to pay for the for the landscaping when placing, I can see whether it is already flat enough. So, but I would prefer to be more like here then I could place another one. So maybe I just do it. Okay, and let's see what terrible mountains it did. It looks okay. So then I could put 
all those three together maybe underneath this roof yeah yeah it would be better if I had separated them but uh, I guess tomorrow I will do some mowing as well. So, oh, it's already 30 minutes long. So then, it's not much gardening. Only a tiny little bit. So first I want to have something like a garage. Uh, what? No, no garage. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> like a uh, um, terrace. I don't know whether you call it like that. In Germany it's usual to have at the back garden um, to have a place usually a little bit um, higher than the rest of the garden. Oh, I heard it called a deck. Something like a deck. and But a deck I imagine more like made of wood. And that what we call a terrasse, ter terrasse to <laughs> call it precisely. Um, a terrasse would be made of stones and yeah like like the wall those walls on the floor maybe something like that and but i can leave it as concrete i think and let's see i have the decorative um the decorative mod of, of alien gym because i haven't yet built my own one and lots of those objects i would use for my own one therefore i can't use them anymore because i don't want to make a double thing this is a nice well. So, oh, this is nice. Yeah, maybe I could put this. And maybe. And does he have a barbecue, a grill? I don't know. So. And another one, a little bit more like this. And I think he wrote something like, best to use in free building mode. Ah, then I have to. Oh, they are expensive. They are really expensive. I would make them cheaper. But okay, I have quite some money and then it's okay. So, and another one. Okay, that's a small beginning. Ah, and those is, this here is my decorative pack. Maybe I'm... First I look um, whether this tent is working here. No. This color would be better. And I think it would be awesome. Only the window of the living room is affected by it. So... But I think it's okay. 
I don't put it too close to the wall that the window is not like smashed by this but the sitting area should be covered okay Yo, what's this? Oh! Okay! Yeah, maybe some people consider this a decorative object. And I'd rather put something like... This is decorative object. Uh, this one you can get in the mod hub. It's from me and the objects change with the seasons. So in autumn you will have pumpkins and in winter you will have snowmen. And in springtime you will have a colorful X here in the in the boxes so and I don't see a grill so I think that's reason enough to make my own decorative pack but not so soon because I have so many other ideas no with the chess it's nice. Oh yeah, we have it in in Aubelron. So all those objects are from the different maps. Yeah, and he has quite a variety. So those are objects I would have liked to put in a in a flower pack. Yeah, but Alien Jim was faster. Okay. Yeah, so we have a little decoration now. And the farm is starting to take shape a, a tiny little bit. Maybe later I will build something like an kind of island in the middle with a tree. I like it like that. But first I have to find out whether I have enough place for turning around uh, in the middle or... Yeah, it looks like it's maybe not enough place for, for a tree, uh, a huge tree in the middle. I always need a lot of place to turn around. Yeah. But it's not finished at all. But I'm quite happy with it. Okay, that's it for this part. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.